What's up guys? My name is Jerry with Aesthetic Auto Detailing and today I got an emergency call for my uh, my fleet account. All right, Jerry. So what's emergency? What does that mean? So emergency is just about they need a service done and they got to pay a fee. So for example, um, I don't guarantee everybody that I could like drop what I'm doing. You know, like I can't be working on a client and just drop it and go to them. Um, but it's one of those things like I'm all booked for the day and they like really, really want me to do it at the end of the day or whenever I'm available. Okay, yes, but you gotta pay, you know, like a minimum, for example, on holidays. I do like a minimum of like $200, I believe. Um, and uh, depending on the service, they have to pay like an extra $50. And usually Thanksgiving, for example, these last like two, three years, I always get at least one call because somebody spilled something. Yeah. They dropped them in noodle? Um, so this one guy, he got coffee for the whole family. He spilled coffee. He spilled creamer and it smelled nasty already. Yeah. So I had to shampoo that whole thing. It took me like, I don't know, hour and a half. I was home for dinner. Yeah. How much did you charge him? 250. Okay. Yeah. Now, what's this emergency? So this emergency, um, it's special needs school. And usually I'm always getting calls for, um, you know, vomit, feces, or urine. In this case, it's urine. What's the process to take care of this? So, for example, today um, they weren't too sure. You know, uh, person that's in charge of maintenance, he was just saying like, hey, I don't really know exactly which seat it is. So what they want me to do is they want me to shampoo um, the seats on the, the second, the, the middle row and the third row. So what I'm going to do is um, I sprayed uh, PNS Terminator and carpet bomber I'm letting it sit right now then i'm going to you know drill it steam it and i'm going to uh try to check to see because usually when you're steaming it you can smell it coming up so i'm going to try to check to see if i can uh, figure out which seat it was and just kind of give that a little bit of extra um you know focus um but you know i'm 100 we got to steam it i'm going to uh go over it with a uh, dry towel trying to absorb all the extra moisture that's in there, make sure there's nothing stuck in there. And then once I finish up, I'm going to spray the uh, PNS finisher, which is a hydro peroxide chemical. I'm sure every detailer gets this call. Hey, I need a detail right now. Uh, I wanted to pay extra, but you have other details. Uh -huh. Would you take it and move stuff around or would you stick to your schedule and wish them the best? Uh, it really just depends. I've had a few, I've had a few, um, where they say like, hey, if you come right now, like I'll pay you an extra couple hundred dollars. That's actually happened to me a few times. Um, luckily, I've been like at a fleet account or I've been like somewhere else to where they're not like in a hurry. And you know, sometimes, depending on the person, I'll, I'll communicate that with them like, hey, I got a big call. You mind if I come back tomorrow or if I do this? And they're always cool about it. Uh, and then they have some to where you know, like can't really do it, you know? So it really just depends on the situation. All right, Jerry, talking about emergencies. Uh, have you ever had something that was a real emergency, like you said, feces, vomit, mold, um, I don't know anything else, but have you ever been put in a situation where you're like, I don't know if I should take this because of the hazard? Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's more the mold ones. I've had quite a few mold situations. Um, and you know, I, I do my best, you know, I, I use like uh, the three-step process from uh, from PNS, the uh, Terminator, Carpet Bomber, uh, Finisher, um, steam cleaning also. But sometimes, like the vehicle is just so so done where I personally don't feel like even if you try your best, you're not gonna get 100%. When situations like that happen, I explain to my clients like, look, it's been neglected for a long time. I did as much as I could. But just letting you know, there's a possibility that you still got some, you know, like uh, maybe like under the actual carpet, you know, under the upholstery. Like I said, I tell them, I suggest you take it apart if you can. So when you have doubt like that, I really suggest just to communicate with your clients. All right, Jerry, how's the emergency detail going? It's going well. So I already, uh, I already sprayed the Terminator carpet bomber. I already uh, drilled it, steamed it, extracted. Now what I'm doing is I'm kind of just trying to absorb all the excess water, which you can see. Um, after this, I'm gonna go ahead and spray the PNS finisher with the hydro peroxide. Um, and then I'm just gonna give it the whole vehicle, just like a light little vacuum, kind of hook them up. 
Throw on some scents and we're set. Yes, sir. All right, Jerry. So, we're wrapping up. Yep. But you actually got a call right now. An emergency detail. Yeah. Now, I don't think it was an emergency. What do you think of it? No, nah, it wasn't an emergency, but I could tell that the guy found me on Google. Um, he asked me if I had time and I asked him what service he wanted. And he said he wants a, a spot like buffed out. So I'm assuming he has like a scratch or something. So I asked him where he was located and he said, I'm 10 minutes away. So that means he's going to the address listed on my website. So I told him, okay, no problem. I'm in Ontario working on a vehicle. I'm finishing up. I'll be there around three o'clock. So he said, okay, sounds good. So I told him, I'll take a look at it. I'll give him a price and we'll go from there. Nah. Yes, sir. So we'll see how it goes. Now, let's say you were busy. Mm -hmm. What would you have told him? That I'm not available today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it happens, man. I mean, some people, actually a lot of people, a lot of clients, I feel like, I think with the internet or just with, how society is nowadays they want things done now so it happens all the time to where like oh can you come and wash my car right now sorry i'm busy i could do tomorrow no it's okay thank you simple as that you know so i feel like over time kind of just get used to it you don't take it personal it is what it is more clients will come yeah hey but let me know guys how do you guys respond to people when they ask you for a last minute vehicle if you guys are busy will you guys take it or um, do you try to reschedule them for like tomorrow, the next day? Let me know down in the comments below. All right guys, so that's how I deal with the uh, emergency service calls. If you guys have any suggestions, ideas, please drop it down in the comments below. And if you guys wanna see more detailing content, please make sure to like and subscribe.